So very recently I made a video talking about the Joker and what I basically said in that video as I was analysing the film trailer was in a nutshell I said the film can potentially be really good. I said the film had potential. But however, just like everything else that looks like it's going to be potentially great or everything else that does have potential, there is always a minority few. We all know these individuals by now, the SJWs, who are just against it, find excuses to get offended by it. Here is a handful of tweets that have been put out by SJWs alike that are severely offended by this upcoming Joker film. So here is a handful of tweets by SJWs, blue check marks and the likes, the typical kinds of people that you'd expect to get offended by a film like this. I will not read all of them out, but I will pick out a select few. So, for example, Alan Zilberman, top left, says, Joker, a film where you're supposed to sympathise with a mediocre white man radicalised into deranged violence, will no doubt be appealing to the wrong audience for the worst reasons. Louis Vertel, on the top right, says, Straight men on Elizabeth Warren, she messed up once and I can't get over it. However, straight men on the Joker, really excited to hear his side of the story. How do you even compare those two? We have Alison Stolper in the middle saying, Find someone who looks at you the way 20 to 30 year old white dudes look at whoever is playing the Joker. Here is another collection of tweets right here and severely offended SJWs. The last thing we should care for is their feelings. Yasir Lester on the top left says, Every race, gender, sexual orientation has heroes who are real people, but white dude's hero is literally just the Joker. On the third row in the middle, the call says, The Joker is literally a toxic white dude in grease paint and everyone who's like, yeah, he's just like me, and is over the age of 15 needs to be put on a list. Yes, because everybody that likes a film or is getting excited for an upcoming film really needs to be put on some sort of watch list, don't they? Amy Gray put out a number of tweets on the right here. He is a poor white man overlooked by all the success and happiness that should be his. Okay, so how long until all those alt-right accounts start using the Joker as their avatars? Amy Gray also tweeted, I've been saying this since the teaser came out and that the MR Rays and the Maggas are going to latch onto this like effing Velcro. Really worried about how race is going to be presented. Let's get the third slide up here. Yes, there are more to come. If we have a look at Tina on the top left, she says, Joker, finally the movie we've been all waiting for. The Incel Origin Story. Lux on the top second to the right says, Oh god, is Joker just incel terrorists the movie? Ruby Duvall just underneath her says, Is it be nice if Joker portrayed a white man being warped by white supremacy and misogyny into an entitled shithead who brings his misfortunes on himself, or imagines his own persecution, and then descends into terrorism? But I really doubt that'll be the case. Avengers and Blaine, at the very bottom, second to the left, says, I don't need an origin story for the Joker, it's fairly straightforward that he's just an incel. This is the final slide of all the the, the compilation of tweets, uh, the anti-Joker tweets, all the SJW tweets about the Joker. Uh, we will go through these as well. Nico Toscani, top middle, says, The Joker movie looks to be aligning nicely with the culture of sad, angry white dudes who imagine the whole world against them. Tara, in the very centre, says, With every trailer, the Joker movie looks more like the plot is. White dude gets treated like people who are not white dudes are always treated, becomes supervillain, and it's so cool, you guys. The user on the bottom right says, Okay, the Joker trailer bothers me for a lot of reasons, but the way they consistently use black women as supporting characters is really sketchy, especially when combined with a lot of themes that are going to appeal to incel white boys. Okay, that is all the tweets that I will read out. If you want to have a look at the rest of them, you can pause the video and just read them for yourself, but I will warn you, 
reading all of these tweets will probably cost you a lot of brain cells. That's all I'll that's all I'll say on that. Okay, in a nutshell, most of these SJW morons here obviously have no idea what the Joker is about. They don't understand the Joker film. A lot of these individuals are saying things like, oh, it's a film for white dudes, oh, and they're crying a river over it. A lot of them are comparing him to an incel as well. And I'm just sitting here like, this film is not about an incel, okay? If you think that the Joker, the character, the Joker is an incel, then you obviously don't know what an incel is. I can already foresee it. Incel is just going to become another mindless insult that loses all of its meaning. Okay, to the actual SJWs who are offended and have got triggered by this upcoming film, all I've got to say is, is if you really don't like this film, if this offends you so much, don't go and watch it. Simple as that. Go back and watch the modern Star Wars films. Go back and watch The Rise of Skywalker or something like that. This film is clearly not for you. But, however, even though there are a small number of SJWs getting severely offended over this, that is quite the contrary to actual film fans. If we get this article up here, Joker gets an 8 minute standing ovation at the Venice Film Festival premiere. Okay, if it's getting an 8 minute standing ovation, if people have been clapping at the film for 8 minutes straight, then it must be fairly good to say the least. We also have another article here backing up my point that a lot of people are happy with this film from The Independent saying, Joker is the highest rated comic book film a month before it's even released. Although it won't be released for another month, the film, from The Hangover director Todd Phillips, has racked up a staggering 9.7 rating out of a possible 10 on IMDb. Now, currently I don't think it's at 9.7 anymore, I think it's at 9.5 or 9.6 as I'm recording this, but it is still a significantly higher number for a film that hasn't even came out yet. For comparison, The Avengers Endgame, which is the world's highest grossing film of all time, sits at 8.6 while Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight is at 9. It is worth noting that this rating is likely to change when the film actually gets released, but its high score predicts big things for the film, which stars Joaquin Phoenix as a reimagined version of the DC villain named Arthur Fleck. Yes, I agree. I don't think it's going to remain around the 9.5, the 9.6. I do believe it will gradually go down, but will still remain as a pretty high rating on IMDb. Okay, now talking about the SJWs then and their tweets that I showed you earlier, that is mostly just a vocal minority, a bunch of idiots that don't like the film for ridiculous reasons. And like I said, they are just a vocal minority, and if you ask me, they should not be listened to. And with the idiotic reasons that they don't like the film, such as the fact that it's supposedly white supremacy, or it's pushing incel violence, or whatever other nonsense these SJWs actually think, and with the fact that it's getting long-standing ovations from, you know, people that have seen seen the film at premieres and whatever, it does go to show that the film, like I said in my initial review for the trailer that came out recently, people are looking forward to this, and the film does have potential to be a really good film, and it seems my prediction was right. But the main question we ultimately need to ask here is, why are these SJWs acting like this? Why are these extreme SJWs with their idiotic opinions, you know, so heavily against this film. And it's for the same reason they're against many other things, because it doesn't ideologically align with them. Whenever there's a film that has a white male lead, whenever there's a film that has too many white characters in it, whenever there's a film that pushes, uh, pushes messages that they don't agree with, the first thing they're doing is coming out on Twitter calling the film racist. They call the film Nazi propaganda, they say it's uh, pro-Trump and other nonsense like that. But ultimately, just like everything else that offends SJWs, if it does offend those SJWs, it's more than likely something worth seeing. But overall, people, be sure to let us know what you think about this down below. What are your opinions on those idiotic SJWs and their ridiculous tweets? What are your opinions on the upcoming Joker film? Be sure to let us know what you think about this upcoming film down below. Okay, gentlemen, this has been Lord Flashheart. Be sure to rate, comment, favourite, share and subscribe. And I will see you again. Cheerio.